Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from sisterwigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Sheer Elegance wig by Gabor in the color Double Espresso, which is a new color for them. It's GL12. This is an awesome color. I'll talk about it more when I take the wig off my head. But uh, yeah. This wig's pretty spectacular too. Um, I mean, it's it's got a pretty basic cap construction. Um, it's an open capped wig with a lace front, which again, I'll talk about a little bit more when I take the wig off my head. But um, yeah, this style in this color, I mean, I don't know if you remember the 90s, but I do. And uh, there used to be this MTV VJ named Duffy, like I think her name was like Karen Duffy or something like that. or something like that. Like this wig in this color makes me think of her so hardcore. <laughs> like it just total, it does. It looks like that VJ's hair. It's totally 90s hair. So before I do anything, you know, I just want to fluff her up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so I can show you what this one looks like from all sides. Cause she's pretty cute. I've not done anything to this wig except go like this a couple times on camera and just play with the front for a second or two just to get this to curve inward as opposed to go like that. Uh, or maybe not exactly like that, but you know what I mean? They, they can go like that sometimes as opposed to cu cupping the face. But, ah, oh, this one's amazingly cute. Um, I'm not always a big fan of short styles but I really like this one. I think this one's really flattering on. So Sheer Elegance by Gabor has one of my favoriteest cap constructions ever, ever. It's got an open cap with a lace front, which I love. Um, very durable cap construction. Lace front, open up here. Big bump of permatease at the crown. Open on the sides, open in the back. We do not have an extended nape, though we do have some felt back here. And I don't think it's extended because it's so short. There, there, there'd be no way to extend that without a bunch of felt sticking out in the back. Um, we do have Velcro here in the back though, which is a nice touch. I always love Velcro adjusters. They're way easier, I think, than the little hook enclosures which can come undone or the bra strap thingies, which require coordination that I don't always have. And like all Gabor wigs, it's relatively stretchy in the back. Loving this, uh, this color, by the way, this is the double espresso, the GL12. I was, uh, I was having a beef with Gabor and complaining about how they didn't really have a true black color. Well, now they do. Check that out. And I love showing this one off in the sunshine because you can really see that that one that's in there is really shining through a one a real one and not a 1B, because a 1B doesn't have any blue tones in it. It doesn't have any ash undertones. But a one has a hint of some blue tones in it. It's almost like a jet black. So because it's got that little whiff of ash to it, it gives that one kind of a, a blue or like a really cool tint. And that two is kind of neutral. So it doesn't go super blue, but it does pull really luscious, ashy, gorgeous, pretty true black. It's a really nifty color. So, and I mean, even though this is an open cap, because that color is so dark, you don't see anything weird on the top of this cap. Looks completely awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back on for you now. You know what? I just totally realized this is like Elvis black or like Wonder Woman black. You know, it's, it's, it, it does have that kind of almost blue like it what you're seeing that almost blue tint to it is real because it's got that one in it as opposed to a 1b like I described when I had it off my head and it does kind of give it like that vaguely cool almost blue cast it's a really nifty color kind of extreme almost um, I, I think that it's really cool like you know this is kind of diffuse lighting almost like office lighting even though I'm outside so I mean it's not gonna look like an ultra natural color. If you need something that looks really natural, go for the 2-4 instead, that black coffee. That's gonna look natural in all lighting schemes. But because this one's got that one in it with that hint of jet in it, that little bit of blue, 
it's always going to look a little fashion. It's always going to look a little edgy. And that's cool. I, I really like this one. I like this cut. I love this color. I like the combination. I, I really do. And I think this is really comfortable on because even though this is, you know, let me show you again. This is an average size wig and I have an average large head technically. Um, you know, Gabor wigs tend to stretch really well. So um, it only takes a little bit of wear and they become very accommodating. So I love this one. I think it's really cute. Um, and because of the nice dark color, the fact that it's open capped, eh, who cares? Eh, you can't tell. Um, the lace front, it's a nice touch. I mean, this is my bio hair over here on the side. So my, my hair is dark, so it blends in really nicely. So I like this one. This is the Sheer Elegance by Gabor. Um, oh, and let's, let me tell you the specs before I just like saunter off into the night. Um, the front on this is nine inches, so it's really long. It is definitely meant to frame the face like I was mentioning at the beginning of this video. The crown down is 6.5, but it's really layered and stacked in the back, almost shaggy. It's really, really uh, layered back there. As you can see, really super duper layered. Um, the back is five inches and the nape is really short. It's only an, uh, 1.75 inches. So uh, you'll definitely want to make sure you cut the tags out of this one before you wear it. So that way the tags don't accidentally invert and show themselves and reveal that you're wearing a wig. You don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, so double thumbs up for this one. Great little wig, um, great summer wig. Would be cute in blondes, be cute in reds. I, I like this one a lot. So I'm Heather. I'm from Sister Wigs. That's C Y S T E R W I G S dot com. Thank you for watching my wig reviews, and I uh, hope to bring you lots more. Until next time, I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye bye.